सो हेलो एवरी वन एंड लेस कंट्राइज दिस टिक टेक टू एप्लीकेशन इन टू अ डॉकर इमेज ओके सो फर्स्ट थिंग फर्स्ट आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू ओपन माई वी एस कोड एंड जस्ट कट ऑल द थिंग्स सो वंस यू ओपन द वी एस कोड सो देन वी आर टू क्रिएट अ फाइल ओवर हियर इट्स नोन एज अ डॉकर फाइल सो एज यू नो दैट सो फर्स्ट लेटर शुड बी कैपिटल एंड आर डर द लेटर शुड बी इन द स्मॉल लेटर्स ओके सो वी हैव क्रिएटेड द डॉकर फाइल देन द फर्स्ट स्टेप कम्स ओवर हियर द बेस इमेज so you are might be thinking what is the base image for this application so as i mentioned you this is the react based application and react based application needs work on the node image okay so on the node so basically we need a node image so let's open the browser and let's go in the docker registry and let's search for the node image over here okay so let's type the node so as you can see that we have bunch of node image here but we are not going to use this one so we are going to use so this is the node image by the docker official image so this is the official image by docker so once you open the page then you have to see so much of things like the supported tags respective docker files and links and here there are different type of tags for this image so you are might be thinking so what is the use case of tags and what does the tags means so nodes come with the different type of versions like the 18 17 19 20 So, if you want to check or uh, what's your version of Node, so you can just go ahead and open the terminal, and you can just type Node dash v. So, we are using the Node eighteen version. Okay. So, currently we have the Node eighteen. So, if you search over here, like Control F and eighteen. So, this is the all the tags that available with the uh, versions of Node eighteen over here. so as you also search for the node 19 if available so the 20 okay so as you can also see that we have this version of node 20 with the different types of tags of image like the alpine version then we have this uh, slim version as well okay so we have this buster version so we have the different type of versions so choosing the right tag is very important because once you push all the things in the production so there are some of the chances your application is not ready for the latest version let's suppose your application is running on the 18 version of node js and if you just pull the image of the 19 version or the 20 version so your application get break down so for that reason so your application is working on the certain node js version so you have to just use that specific image or the specific tag so hence the tags is very important but we are not going to use any tags over here so i am just going with the latest version of node js image so it's going to run my application as well but there are not necessary to use the latest version so you have to use the specific version for the production grade application okay so i hope you all understand so every image is come with the tags and every tags has their different use cases and we have to use the specific tags if you are using in the production great server okay and we are going to use the latest version of node over here okay so let me open the vs code again and in the base image i am just going to type over here the node okay so once you done with your base image then we have to set the working directory so for that i am just going to on the second line and type over here the work dir so work dir for working directory and i am using forward slash and my app so all data will be copy and pasted over this working directory then i am going to use the copy command over here so i am just using the copy and first thing i am just copying the two files over here the packet.json and second is package-log.json so as i mentioned earlier so packet.json file is very essential so using that file we can able to run the npm install command and using that we can able to create the nodes folder over here and later on we can just able to run our application so first thing what we are going to do we are going to copy that packet.json file and copy and paste in the directory of uh, not the directory in the containers okay and then we are running the npm install and then we are going to copy the another files and paste it over in that that directory and then we can run the npm start command so you might be get little bit confused but trust me it's very easy so the first thing so the first file i am just going to copy that is the package dot json okay is is that right packet dot json over here and i'm just copy and paste in the that working directory okay and later on i'm just using again the copy command and this time i'm just copying this another file 
so where it is okay so i'm just copying this another file the packet dash lock dot json and i'm just going to paste this one in my directory okay so once you're done with that then we have to run a command which command so as i mentioned earlier so we need npm install command okay so using the npm install we can able to create a notes folder but you are might be thinking so here the notes folder is already available so why we are not just going to just copy that folder and paste in the directory yes we can easily can copy this note folder and paste in the directory as well but the main issue is so note folder is very heavy and we are never ever used to copy that note folders and paste in the working directory of our docker container and right now what we are going to do we are going to ignore this folder so which means while building the image so this folder will not be copy and paste in our directory okay so if you don't want to get copy this folder while building the image so what we are going to do we are going to create another file over here it's known as a dot docker ignore so you have to just focus on this name so we are using dot then docker ignore over here and this is the docker e dot docker ignore file and in which you can just mention the folders and files over here so what will happen so it's not going to copy that folder and paste in our uh, docker container okay so here we are going to mention the name over here like notes modules so i just mentioned over here like notes module so while they build in the image so it's not going to copy this folder into our docker container okay so then we have to run this command like npm install so using the npm install so it's going to install all the dependencies like node folder in the docker container so for running this command we have to use a command in the docker is known as a run so using the run command we can able to run any commands over here so in our case we are going to run this command like npm install okay so i'm just type run then you have to give a space and then you have to type npm install so what will happen it's going to install all the dependencies okay so then we are going to copy another files as well because we have copied these two files only like the packet.json and packet-log.json but we have these uh, files over here like public src uh, docker ignore and we have others files as well but we don't have copied it and now we are going to copy that files as well so for that i am using again the copy command over here and i just want to copy entire directory and then i am going to use another dot over here so it will copy all the files and paste it in the working directory over here okay then once you're done with that we have to run a command for starting the server so which command so the command is the npm start so using the npm start we are able to start over the server so if you want to start the server so for that you have to use the cmd command so using the cmd command we can able to execute a command in the uh, docker okay so i am just using the cmd and in the first string so i am just mentioning uh npm and then you have to just give a comma over here and then you have to give a space and then you have to in the second string uh, you have to mention the start over here okay so as you can see that we have this cmd okay and then we have npm and start so let me revise once again and you will be understand what we have done so far so the first thing we have mentioned over the base image so we are using uh, the base image of node because our application is based on the node js hence we are using the node image over here then we have set the directory uh, working directory then we, i have copied this packet.json file and second we have again the co use a copy command and copy the second packet.json file okay and then i run this command like npm install so after running the npm install we can able to generate this uh, notes folder in the docker container okay so then i use the copy command again because uh, we have to copy another files as well like the remaining one the public src and other files so i use the copy command and i have used dot for the current directory and the second dot for pasting all the contents in that working directory okay and then i use the cmd for executing a command so we want to start our server for that reason we are using the npm start so using the npm start we can able to start over the server and that's pretty much you need to run this application okay and with that i also create the docker ignore file okay dot docker ignore file and i have mentioned the notes modules folder so i don't want to copy that folder while building the image for that reason i am using dot docker ignore file over here so once you've done with the, all the things then we are going to save this file okay and let's build this file okay so i'm just going to open the terminal over here 
and let me show you so this is the my docker file so let's build the docker file for this react application so as we know that we use the docker build command so using the docker build we can able to build the docker image and then i am just going to tag this image and i am using the ruit marathe and application name should be tick tag to okay then i am just using dot over here because my docker file is available in the current directory okay then i am just going to press enter over here and within a second it start the building our image so as you can see that our image is started building and uh, within minutes it's going to complete all the things and our image will be built successfully so as you can see that we have successfully built the image so let's verify once again so using the docker image command okay so as you can see that we have this image over here so we have successfully built okay and it's created a, about a minute ago so i'm just going to clear this one so our image is built uh, successfully so let's try to run that image so for that i'm just using the again the same command like docker run and then i'm just using the port mapping because we need to get access from our browser so i'm just using a dash p so using dash p we can just able to map the port over here so i want to open the 85 port on my machine and colon then you have to mention the container port over here because this application is run on the port 3000 so in the readme file i have also mentioned over here so this application is work on the port 3000 or either i can show you one thing as well so let me open another tab okay and and let's go inside the and let's go in the tic tac toe so if i uh, run this command like npm start so as you can see that once i run this command like npm start so i can able to see this application okay so our application is running on the port 3000 and also mentioned over here so i'm just going to copy uh, i'm just going to close this one and just uh, close this tab over here and then we have to mention over the container port okay so the container port will be port 3000 okay so i'm just going to add over 3000 then we have to mention the image uh, name over here like ruit marathe forward slash tick tag toe so let's check it out our application is working or not so i'm just press enter over here and within a second it's going to start our application or not the start it's going to run our image so as you can see that we got this option like the react start and we have to wait for a couple of minutes not the couple of minutes let's try to access uh, just open the local host and over here i am just uh, mentioned the colon 85 and here so as you can see that we are successfully able to contrive this application so you are understand how it is very easy to contrive the react application and run that application as an image so that's pretty much for this lecture and let's move ahead and learn more about the different type of docker file in the next lecture